So happy International Women's Day and we gotta talk about women in filmmaking. Hey everyone and welcome back to the film industry with the Amber Living Blog and I am Amber and today of course we're talking about women in filmmaking. Now I had no idea who the first female filmmaker was and I feel like me working in film I should friggin know this. The first female narrative filmmaker, Alice Guy Blanchet. Now she was from France and of course she's from France because they're like you know, they're revolutionizing film and, you know, it was back in like the early 1900s, they're like doing their thing in filmmaking. And so the first American female director, she was actually a friend of Alice. She was a friend of Alice and her husband and she therefore became a director because of who she knew. And this is a perfect example of networking. Of course, networking got her where she was. So her name was Lois Weber. I don't wanna go into all these facts. I don't wanna go into all these like stats and everything about how, you know, only 30% of speaking roles are for females and then that's not even talking about leading roles and supporting actor roles. We're not even talking about that stuff. We're not even talking about how, you know, for every five guys on a crew there's one female crew member. We're not even talking about that stuff. I find it interesting when I open my analytics on my YouTube page. Now, if you don't know, my page is geared to people who are aspiring filmmakers, people who are trying to get into the big budget world being PAs, they're learning about filmmaking and they're trying to figure out what they want to do in the film world. 25% of them are females and I, f I feel like, man, damn, I wish that number were a lot larger. So there are more guys watching my channel and you know what guys, I'm happy that you're a fan and you're watching my stuff, I appreciate that. I find that, you know, people are using that argument, oh, well, the reason why there's not that many females in filmmaking is because they're not interested in being filmmakers. Which I think that's a fucking bold-faced lie. That is a lie. Because filmmaking is an art form. And there are many females that work in art, like painting, photography. As a young girl, they're not aware that that career is open to them because it is so male dominated. I don't know, I'm not here to make theories. In my experience when I'm on set, as a female first AD on indie stuff, I find myself being surrounded by a lot of guys. And luckily for me that I've been, I've been on sets that guys have had the most respect for me. And I don't get the whole, oh my God, she's such a bitch. At least not to my face, which is, you know, I feel like that's a win. <laughs> In the camera department, I was the only female and it was kind of unnerving a little bit because you have to deal with a lot of male egos all the time. And not to say that women don't have egos, they have them. And I've dealt with female directors <laughs> who have some female egos, let's just, let's just, you know, let's not say that they don't have them because they definitely have them. In my indie world, I do work with a few female directors. I've actually, actually, you know, worked with a handful. Uh, I feel like I've worked with more female directors than I have male directors. Now, you may be asking yourself, like, why is this a big deal? Why is it a big deal that there are not a lot of female directors in the top grossing world? When you're talking about top grossing, right, you're talking about people going to the movies. What movies were seen the most? Only 9% in 2014 were female directors. It's actually gone down 2% in 2016. The top grossing films only had 7% of them have female directors and it's like gone down. For a while it was like chugging up. It was like, yeah, we're going up, we're going up. And then it's just like, Doo. A few years ago when I first started in film, I didn't see that many um, you know, female crew members. But now I'm seeing more female gaffers. I'm seeing more key grip um, that are female. I'm seeing more PAs that are female and I'm definitely seeing more electricians that are female and I'm like yes man yes finally because people think that filmmaking is this like easy endeavor but it's not there's a lot of heavy lifting and I feel like a lot of people have that note like that preconceived notion that like oh my god women can't lift heavy stuff and I mean I have worked with females that really can't even carry like a, a big pelican case and it, I damn it it makes me so mad Just, Muscle, come on. <laughs> I feel like there's some faith there that, you know, this woman can pull her weight and she has proved herself and she is, you know, on crew and I love it. There also is like zero women as DP, like as a cinematographer. I've only worked with one female DP ever as far as big budget and for my indie projects. There was only one female I've ever worked with that was a DP and I know there are more DPs out there. Oh wait. I just remember two of them, two indie DPs that I've worked with. DP, that is like one of the largest inequality. I've also seen 
a lot more female second ADs, which hopefully eventually they'll move up to first ADs. I've seen a lot of female UPMs. I've seen a lot of female producers. So I feel like there's hope out there that it's like steady, just going. Now the stats that I have are for like top grossing films. It didn't really take into account TV and you know female showrunners and stuff like that. But it still is largely unequal uh, across the board, male to female, unfortunately. Why does it matter that there needs to be more women directors, women, you know, producers, women on crew? Why does it matter? I think it matters because a male writing a script and then directing it, directing that movie, is largely projecting a male perspective. And... There are other perspectives out there. There are, you know, women of color perspective, Asian, gay, you know, transgender. There's all these perspectives are out there. You used to work in distribution, and when you're an indie filmmaker, you try to get distribution deals, and you talk to the distribution companies. Sometimes it's really, really hard to get a distribution deal. A lot of males will screen these movies uh, and say, you know what, it was an okay movie, but you know, they won't give them a deal, largely because they don't know how to market that movie. Now, I will tell you this, that 51% of people that are going to the movies are female. There are women. It's not like there's not a viewership out there. There is an audience for women films, for women director, you know, driven movies. There is that perspective that wants to be represented, and they're just not. So... It, it's actually kind of this this big gap, this leap between the independent world, you know, in your festival circuit, and then getting that large distribution deal only because they don't know how to market. We have to put pink ribbons on everything, or it has to be pink, or the women aren't gonna fucking buy it. But the fact that it's like pink, 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 pink. I'm so sick of seeing pink always being represented by the female gender and for the female gender. It's really fucking annoying. That's my theory about, you know, why certain female films, female driven films that have a perspective of a female and actually have crew members and, you know, producing teams that are female and directors that are, that are female, that they're not getting these deals. They're not getting seen because they just don't know how to be marketed properly and it's a goddamn shame. I always want to take pictures. And when I discovered that, you know, like, wow, like these things I'm watching on TV, I could actually make those. That was a big moment for me, you know, in high school when like we made our, our, our first like stupid little music videos and a shout out to Mr. Hughes because I think he was the first teacher in high school that really introduced me to like making movies. And if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have, you know, kind of went on this path of, you know, working in film and, and making it like, yeah, I can actually do this. I can probably do this. But if you are a female, if you're like 14 watching this, I want you to know that you can have a career in film you can be an a, a lead actress in film. You can, you know, go against all the stats that are out there and you can be a woman in filmmaking and whatever part you want to play. Just want you to know that you can do it. You can work in this industry. Um, and we need more to represent our perspective and what we think of the world and what we are seeing in the world. Because man, sometimes people just don't understand what it's like to be a female. I think that is my soapbox for today. Women in filmmaking, uh, I hope that you've taken away something I mean it was I was all over the place and I apologize but I am so close I am so so close to a thousand subscribers I'm so close I'm like 40 subscribers away and my viewership is growing like steadily and I'm very very proud of that if you like this video please like and share uh, and if you like me and what I'm producing here please subscribe and if you have any questions comments concerns I'm always happy to answer any questions you have please comment below thank you for watching the film industry with the amber living vlog and I'm amber and I shall see you guys next week